Hi guys, this is Patricia from Yerny Cat Crochet. Um, just a little short video. Happy October 10th. Woo! Um, ignore the hot mess before you. <laughs> Look away. This is not the crocheter you're looking for. Anyway, um, now that the goofy's over. Uh, so, I did not do any finished object or anything today, but... Um, I did learn a new, um, I guess you would call it a stitch. There's a lot of stitches in here and I already knew how to do them, but this, all the stitches combined is called the wave stitch. And I don't know if any of y'all have heard of it before. It was my first time hearing of it. I really like it because it gives that rippled look and, um, uh, you know, the up and down one zigzag is a little bit difficult for me, and this one wasn't. Plus, look at how cool. And if you can imagine, now you're supposed to do this with two different colors, but um, I've got all kinds of ideas floating through my head. Um, but you see, um, even with the one color, it looks really pretty. Can you imagine this in like a blue or an ombre blue or... Um, taking these single crocheted rows and doing it with an opposite color and then the color that the regular color um in the middle um you know every every other row is a single crochet row so you could do your your opposite color and then do your the color you want you could you know do red and black you could do you know just anything, just like a billion things are popping into my head right now. And I've only had one cup of coffee. By the way, the mushroom coffee did not um, work for me. And the reason why is because it counteracts. Uh, not counteracts. It enhances your medication. And um, if you take diabetes medication, well, it doesn't enhance the medication, but it also lowers blood sugar. And... Um, but it'll drop it dangerously low. So you got to be really careful when you're taking medicines. And uh, I really should have consulted my doctor first. So I'm not using the mushroom coffee. So I only had one cup of regular coffee. And my mind is still just going left, right, and yonder. But um, so I learned this. Um, I'm going to link it below. There's a tutorial. So I learned it in the few minutes that the tutorial was. Um, and so if I did, you can. <laughs> and um, it's just a really, really cool stitch. It's by a lady who, um, I don't know if she invented the stitch. She was just doing a tutorial on it. But, I mean, she may have, I don't know. But um, her name is Taylor Bento. If you don't know her, uh, she does bags by Bento. Um, all kinds of wonderful bags and projects um, that she does. She's so uh, friendly, inclusive. Um, through the chat, I have texted um, her a bunch of times, responded to her videos. She's always responded back. Um, super, super sweet person. And she has her own crochet business. So if you're ever thinking about doing a crochet business, um, you definitely need to con connect with her. She has all kinds of resources for you and also for people starting out there's these stitch tutorials <laughs> I can make a mask out of it too <laughs> um, but anyway uh, she just has she's a world of knowledge and she doesn't need my shout out but I'm shouting her out and I'm gonna put the link in the um, in the description box below if you want to go learn this stitch and um, uh, any of the other stitches she has, or there's bag tutorials, there's uh, backpack tutorials, rug tutorials. I mean, if there's a tutorial, it's probably on there. She's a very, very important um, tool to have in your crochet uh, knowledge to pick from from YouTube. Yeah, it's like a crochet library, all the people that you watch. You can go back and watch these tutorials as long as YouTube leaves them up. And they'll leave her up because she's probably making them a ton of money. But, um, but anyway, uh, so yeah, I mean, 
the stitches aren't really tight or anything. It's a little loose because I was learning. I was trying to keep it loose, but I really like how it's like a wavy pattern. You, I mean, if you use your imagination, you could do all kinds of things with it. Do a beach blanket uh, where part of it's blue and part of it's um, the sandy color. Crochet you a few uh, uh, sea stars or sand dollars to, to sew onto the top of it. I mean, uh, it all abounds. But anyway, I'm keeping these uh, everyday videos uh, short. And um, I just uh, wanted to share it with you. So go check her out and learn this. It didn't take me very long, like I said. And uh, happy October 10th again. Yay! And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.